So you, you haven't met Matt before? We haven't met, no. Matt and Ronnie. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, see you again, Matt. Nice to see you again, Liv. Yeah. So Matt, uh, you'll like Matt because he sells lots of high-end watches. Yeah, okay. yeah well, I do. I know you've had that one yeah, in the yeah. watches. I do have a flatter. Yeah. yeah. But Matt, what did you, before you were a professional? Professional golfer, yeah. yeah I golf played golf since I left school. Yeah. I went into golf full-time. Played a few years professionally. I think five years elite amateur. Okay. Before, nice. um, where, where were you born? I was born in Norfolk. Yeah. And then moved to London when I left school to play golf. And then went on to live in Barcelona. Before nice. Yeah. So who got you into golf? Did your parents get you into yeah, golf? Yeah, my father played. He yeah. was good. I think he got down to eight. Yeah. It was his lowest handicap. But yeah. His job got a bit busy, so we had to give it up. And then... I yeah. was playing and he was travelling with me to different tournaments around the country. So what? how old were you when you first started? Eight. Eight? Yeah. Yeah, my daughter, she was about eight when she started. Yeah, so she, was, she was really good, but it's just, it's just carrying on. Yeah, it's tough. And moving through, getting into your teens and not being sidetracked by anything else. Yeah, it is tough. You have to um, make a lot of decisions at a young age to give up. A lot of partying, yeah. Yeah. and then you have to commit yourself to practice yeah. every day. Did you li live near a driving range or a golf course? Yeah, yeah. I was there every night after school. Yeah. At the weekends, and then when I went to full time, I think I practiced from eight thirty to six most days. Mm -hmm. So how many balls do you used to hit a day? Hundred, two hundred? No, I used to hit at least four buckets of a hundred balls. Four buckets, 400 balls a day. And then you chip up, play nine holes, or play 18 it. holes. But that, 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 is, that is how you become good at every single thing. Practice, practice, practice. Definitely. I read a book called Bounce, have you heard of that? No. They Did Ronnie write it? Huh? Did Ronnie write it? <laughs> yeah. You, no. don't even, you don't even know the Ronnie story yet. I can't no. wait to hit the show you this <laughs> one. <laughs> that's about 10,000 10, hours worth of practice. Yeah. And I think it worked out, if you do six out, eight hours a day, it worked out at six years, five days a week. Okay. To become an expert in something. Yeah. 10,000 hours worth of practice. Which is true. Yeah. It's, it's the same in, in, in business. It's the same in, in every single thing. You know, you've got to keep practicing and practicing and working, 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 and, and just learn by all your, your mistakes, basically. That's it. And not to give into distractions. What was your distractions? Women. <laughs> and, and other things. Partying, gambling. But Tell Matt what you, know, you used to do. Because I was a professional BMX rider. Oh yeah? So I did that from the age of nine or ten. Street or dirt? Uh, well, everything. Well, more dirt but yeah. and park as yeah. well. And then some vert later on. Yeah. Because the young kids were getting a little bit too good yeah, in yeah. the park. So I, I went to the vert. Yeah. So I mean, I moved to the States when I was about 17. Yeah. I mean, carried that on until yeah. a few years ago. It was cool. So, it was. Yeah, it was good. But there was a lot of distractions. Yeah, one of my friends is a professional skateboarder in California. His name is Paul Luke Ronson. I had two friends with him. Really? Um, yes. He's I've, I've known him. He's he can't put any better. Because <laughs> I knew he's from Norfolk. His yeah. family, I started skateboarding with Paul Luke Ronchetti. Okay. My, his parents are now. I think next week I'm flying to my house in Portugal to see my parents. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. And we, we got into skateboarding at a young age together. Yeah. And we actually went to school together and everything, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and oh, cool. His brother's Jordy. Do you remember me? I've never met his brother. No, Paul Lewis. Yeah. yeah, so I met, I met him somewhere. I can't remember, but then, because I lived in California, I lived right near all them skateboard guys. Yeah, yeah. So him and well, Tony Hawk, because he's at Tony's, yeah. you know, all the time. So yeah, I've, I've known him for a good few years now. That's Paul Lewis, yeah. yeah. He's a, he's a good guy. Yeah, because he wrote, he skated for Monster. Yeah. So like, that's how I first yeah. met him. Was around that, yeah. So. No, he is good. Yeah, he's very that's good. pretty cool, that. He was, when he, well, he was dedicated at a young age. Yeah. Back when we first book started, I can't, I don't know how old I was, I was hit. Yeah. He stood at the top of a vert ramp for an hour until he dropped in. Okay. That's what I had. What, for the first, his first time ever? First ever time, though. I remember, he probably doesn't remember, but I remember the guy. Yeah. And he stood at the top. It was running. Did you ever hear about the skate park in Norfolk? There's a big one by the bus station. 
And uh, I remember going with him and he stood there until he did it. Was it, was it Norwich? Was that a Norwich? Wasn't yeah, Norwich. Norwich, I've been, yeah, I've been in that one, yeah. yeah. It's not yeah. there, it was gone oh. shut down. Yeah. yeah. That was cool, like that. They had the bowl and everything there and there. And that really long mini ramp. Yeah. But it was like that, well, free for high. Yeah. 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 So who's he sponsored by? Uh, Monster? He was sponsored by Monster. Etnies? Could be Etnies. Yeah. Uh, a few others, but I haven't spoken yeah. to him for about mm -hmm. a year. His parents were over last week. He says that he's doing well. Amazing. Because he's also got a band, hasn't he? With, with, with one of my good friends, Simon Tabor. Yeah. It was BMXer. Yeah. That's it's called cool. The Satellite. Something like that. Yeah. If Simon says this, he can be upset. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's, yeah. he's a good guy, yeah. Yeah. Sound um, like kinks. Yeah. What a small world, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you know Simon. So. I know, because you know when I used to do BMX as well. Yeah. So we're, you know, I'm from, I'm from South, from South where they've got South Skate Park. Yeah. So I was the generation before him. Yeah. I wasn't uh, old enough to turn pro, because otherwise I would have turned pro easily. Yeah. I had the, I had the Californian locks, you yeah. know, blonde hair. I sort of, I gave up at maybe sort of 17 years old because, you know, I got into going out and partying and drinks and women and it's just, it's, it's just no good for, you know, driving yourself forward and, and sticking at it. You have but, to sacrifice a lot. But the boys who stuck at it uh, ended up being, you know, world champions or, you know, winning X Games. Yeah. Gold, gold medalists, I guess. Yeah. Or, yeah. Close to it. Yeah. So, so what are you up to now? You're doing watches, did you say? Yeah, I have a watch company based online. I have a office at my house in Portugal. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to move it to the UK to offer more services to our clients. So, what what kind of watches? Uh, Rolex, Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet. Yeah. All brand new, all pre-owned. Yeah. Their client desires. And uh, at the moment, what is the sort of hottest designer watch? What does everyone want? Is it still Rolex? Mixture of Rolex and Patek Philippe. You've got the 5711 in steel and rose gold. Mm -hmm. 5980, that's in steel, rose gold, and steel and rose gold. Also, you've got steel models from Rolex, such as the Batman, mm -hmm. Hulk, Submariner, Daytona. There's so many that. Better increase in 